Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for the month of June. You Pisces, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's see what's happening for the Pisces. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Month of June is balancing. It's the month of the heart energies. Remember that this reading as an extended reading on air, so you can use the link. Please remember to cross watch, see what's going on, what your boyfriend, what your girlfriend is doing. Okay, what's coming up for them? And remember to listen to the sun, moon, and rising um, sign, the full moon readings. You are the water sign, okay? So check that one out. There's always an um, an extended day of four reading, okay? So this month is a heart sign, so this month is going to bring balance to you guys. So it's a heart sign that is going to bring balance to you guys, okay? So let's go and see what's happening for the Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Pisces, wow. Your own energy vibration comes up, the energy of the uh, year, and you are in limbo in the first week. So it's this thing where you're trying to figure out something, you're in limbo, mm. you're trying to figure out what is going on, you're, try you're taking time to make uh, things happen the star comes out and congratulations to you Pisces because I'm using a new deck and this is the first time the star comes out so there's hope whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening around you there's hope um, for a resolution for this situation damn you Pisces I love you guys so much you bring out the um, star and the sun together, you Pisces. Not even I do that share. I love you, Pisces. I love you, babies. Okay. And then we have balance in the last week. So wonderful, wonderful energies. You have water. You have hair. You have sun. You have four elements and you're dealing some of you with an organization so oh 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 i love you pisces okay you pisces what the what is happening now the two first the the two weeks the first and the second and third week is going to be just so performly wonderful for you pisces okay i'm receiving an energy that is coming out we have the energy of uh, the um, the Aquarian Gemini or Libra but this is an energy of justice this is an energy of justice for you Pisces so if you Pisces were you know dealing with unsavory situation you are going to be um, receiving the ends of justice in a positive way it depends on um, how it's vibrating because this is really justice this is not doing with um, someone if you had a relationship with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libran, they could be coming up. Now, there is love coming at you. This is powerful love coming at you, Pisces. So if you were thinking about someone, they are thinking about you, and it's a yes. Okay, in the last week, there's a situation that you're trying to balance out, and you're having some regrets, but not to worry not to worry there is love so you guys have the ace of cups as the center so it's all about love for you guys balancing out relationship balancing out situations some of you Pisces could be in love with someone and wondering you know if there is a chance if you know I could try with this person yes try because it's gonna be yes okay check out your love reading to see what is coming up okay definitely um, whoever was uh, looking for new love new love is here whoever was dealing with divorces it's finally going to be over so divorces are also balancing out relationship okay so let's look and see what is transpired. The energy of the star for the Pisces. So, a lot of worries. A lot of worries. You Pisces are having, uh, you Pisces are worrying. A lot of worries for you Pisces. 
energy of the sun what's happening with the energy of the sun for the Pisces in the month of June Wow don't worry about your financial situation and the hardship because there's a lot of worries and hardship some of you Pisces are going through um, a situation a lot of worries and Pisces uh, um, there's someone that passed away for you Pisces and they're saying from out the the spirit world be happy I will be always with you okay bam new love is coming in and it has to do with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the ages of 18 and 45 they're definitely coming in and offering you love definitely there's no question okay what is happening for the Pisces let's see so you guys begin the month in limbo over a legal issue over a complex a legal issue and worries that is going on okay Whatever the con the conflicts, the legal issue, and whatever is going on, this is going to be resolved. It could be a, a child, or you could be having this conflicts with um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn between the age of 18 and 45, or you could be having this situation um, with other people. There's outside influence, there's a lot of conflicts, worries, hardship. A lot of conflicts but money is coming towards you and some luck okay so for you Pisces you're having a there's a lot of conflicts that is happening but whatever this conflicts it's it's definitely going to end and some good news you're going to be receiving so whoever is having outside conflicts inside conflicts or whatever money is going to be coming in there this is a good sign okay whatever deceptive move that was made um, is going to be um, resolved and there is definitely help that is going to be coming in there is some worries with someone and a new relationship okay and you could be in a new relationship with um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn it is the relationship to be in um, your month is centered door the energy of the star and the energy of the star is giving you hope with a new relationship that is coming in for you there is going to be success with this relationship okay some of you um, this is a situation where um, you have met someone you have crossed part with someone um, this person has been on your mind um you are definitely going to be starting you're in limbo to say how you're feeling about this person and um it's okay because they feel the same way about you it's just that they respect that you are in a relationship um they're not going anywhere definitely not um they're giving you the time some of you needs a refreshment of scenes some of you you have a lot but love isn't there and new love is definitely going to come in so the um, energy of your month is new love okay the energy of your month is new love let's look and see what is this limbo with this queen of swords and fate some of you are having a legal issue a divorce you're dealing with the nine of wands but justice is coming down on this nine of this knight of wands it is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius but justice is coming down on him whoever this person is they have been an obstacle in your life it could be your partner it could be um, a family um, a member of the family it could be a business partner whoever this person is justice is coming up on them um, there is the energy of heartbreaks with a new love whoever this person is there is the energy of heartbreaks with this new love then we have um, the energy of temperance you have temperance twice so you Pisces have to find balance with everything in your life in the month of April balance with everything in life with the month of April you need to find balance then we have the energy of a lot of worries um, um, and this is going to affect the young men men between the ages and it doesn't have to be men but it is uh, people between the ages of uh, 18 
and 45 there's a lot of worries it could be a kids or it could be you yourself a lot of worries with a new love that you were hoping heartbreak is coming up for you we have the energy of debt a transition an ending is coming to a situation an ending is coming to hardship people who were dealing with situation in their lives hardships in their life definitely an end is coming to that and you have to find balance so, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, oh, oh! You Capy, you <laughs> Pisces. <laughs> so you Pisces are going to be financial stable. Okay, so there's a lot of worries about money for you Pisces, but there is no need to worry because enough you're going to be receiving enough. Some of you Pisces, someone is coming at you with harsh words. Their problem, just let them blow their own it's okay but someone is definitely coming at you with a hard word harsh words and it's okay you don't really care um, you know let they toot and blow their owns okay and you're standing your grounds you're like yeah whatever you know just blow your own because really and it's gonna affect you women whatever the situation is it's gonna affect you women and you're gonna think you know it's, it's good whatever you want to do blow your own blow your own I'm not even looking at you but whatever is transpiring I'm seeing that some of you are dealing with um, you're dealing with uh, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and there is a situation but this person is it's financial it's the bill and you're not aware of this this person has money <laughs> don't take this person lightly because this person has money okay what I'm seeing is that a lot of you are in limbo dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius you're definitely in limbo um, you could be divorcing this person um, and you're in limbo and the universe is saying listen after all the shit there is just going to be it's gonna be okay all right let me get this this is my um, so don't worry about whatever that is transpiring it's going to be okay because you're definitely going to be getting out of a, a situation whatever that has been transpiring you're definitely going to be getting out of a situation some of you could be divorcing and um, an Aquarius Gemini or Libran this person you know they're wet that they're, they're greedy a greedy person greedy 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 person some of you were going to some heartbreaks with someone and this was caused during the night of ones whoever this night of ones is is as if he guided a relationship it's as if he knows that you were in love with someone and he created all these illusion that you not no more care for the person but you deeply care for the person because you know that this is the love of your life so you're finding inner strength to balance out because you care for this person you want to be with this person but for all the situation all the things that you have heard that makes you questions a lot of things but this month you're no longer going to question anything you're gonna go for um, a chance with this person some of you young people are having legal issues whether or not you're getting divorced and there's a lot of worries you're having legal issues and and, and you're you're worried whatever is transpiring Whatever the legal issues are, you're worried, but you'll be okay. This worry is uncalled for because when we worry about things, all we have to do is ask the universe to resolve the situation. Your worries is going to come to an end, and your hardship. Whatever hardships and worries that you're going through, this is definitely going to be coming to an, an end in the month of um June it's as if you're balancing out certain things definitely you're balancing out certain things so 
some of you are going to be receiving something it's not really what you want you were hoping for something else and some of you are standing no I don't want that and you know you're right because you know that it's not what you're supposed to have and people like to give you shit and you're backing up and said no that is not who I am I'm not going to take it and that is what you should do pick up the extended reading because in the extended reading it's going to give more about what is happening to you Pisces but you're coming out being very strong some of you um, should receive some money um, from a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person some of you could be dealing with this person not aware that this person is financial stable so that's another thing that is coming up definitely I have two energies you need to choose one of this card this is card one and this is card two this is the deck from the Buddha wisdom what ignites the fire inside you look within I don't know this month this month readings for a lot of the sign it's as if exactly what is happening in the reading is coming out in this cards what it is that ignite the fire within you go for it that thing that person that situation go for it the second card is number 26 the mantra and it says words have great power use them for the greatest good words have great power use them for the greatest good so in this month you Pisces think before you talk because they have powers don't say you love someone if you don't love someone because they have powers okay so whatever you're going to be saying think before you say this because words have power okay words definitely have power and I'm seeing someone coming at you guys and you're standing your ground and you're like back the shit out I really don't care what you have to say I know what is happening I know what is transpiring around me so back the shit out words of power ladies and gentlemen let's look at your animal spirit and we have number 49 for the animal spirit so if you choose the first card it is the rabbit spirit now is a lucky time go for that girl girl for that boy whoever you want now is the time to tell the person now is the time to open up to the person and said hey you are the one that I always dream of let this person know whatever it is you're having a lucky time because you have the star and the sun together that is hope and success that is your wishes and dreams coming out and whatever you want the universe is going to be given you in the two and the two middle week the second week and the third week go for what you want don't let people keep you back now another love energy the sand piper be playful be playful you Pisces you're too serious be playful be playful you Pisces you are just too serious there is and going back because I have the energy of the love of the number six and that is the energy of love but here there's a heartbreak and I want to find out it is a heartbreak of the past with a new love that you have met so, but there is going to be a second chance in this month take the check and chance take the second chance because there's definitely going to be a second chance coming up for you guys in love in this month take the second chance okay the universe is blessing you with another second chance heartbreak what is this heartbreak coming up with news a resolution and it was a karmatic situation so some of you could have met someone um, before and um, somehow outside influence had um, got involved and 
um, you're gonna be receiving some positive news that is going to realign you with this person because it was just a karmatic situation and um, definitely definitely um, whatever the situation is or was that was transpiring there is going to be a resolution to the situation that was really heartbreaks <clears throat> okay you young people are worried what is the reason some of you could be worried about your kids what is the reason for this worries um, you need to release it's a karmatic situation um, some of you are dealing with people in power because um, legal issues and people in power so whatever that is going on the, the legal issues and people in power um, it, you're gonna be coming out of this situation okay that there's an end uh, be careful ladies and gentlemen um, some of you there's some hardship where a child is trying to fight for their lives and there could be that they don't make it okay I'm seeing funeral um yeah there was someone uh, yeah there is a, a funeral some of you could be going to a funeral for a disabled person or for a child okay yeah you're going to be receiving a message an invitation to a funeral some of you as for a child or a disabled person Let's look at the last two messages. Jesus comes up as a child. Uh -huh. Okay, <clears throat> we have card one and card two. Archangel retreat. Some of you need to go on an archangel retreat. If you choose this card, one of the most effective ways to say your ascension process is to visit the archangel retreat in your sleep it helps you to know where the retreat is but it's not essential during the day think and talk about the ascendance masters and before you go to bed ask the ascendance master will enfold you and help you with whatever you most need your guidance is to receive for yourself and ask for the right to help your um, help the right to help okay so you can um, before you go to sleep call upon the ascendance masters and ask the one that you want to visit them in their sleep Jesus is here for the people who choose him Jesus is here the Sun and the star whenever the Sun and the star comes out together it is as if this is the Christ light that is coming down Jesus came from Venus planet of love um, he was sent to her to um, carry the Christ light at a time when the energy was very low like now he incarnate and ascend uh, ascended and received spiritual teaching and that's why Jesus is also an ascendance master throughout childhood and adult life then he undergo uh, many inaugurations okay his energy center to carry the vibration of unconditional love um, this card is reminding you guys of situation and the tests that you have to go through life so don't see the situation as being horrible at this moment see it as um, testing times and situation that you have to go through to become the master that you need to be I love you Pisces and my condolence to whoever is going to receive a message that someone is passing away but the person is uh, um they're they're happy they're happy that they've left this hurt we did not all come here for whatever the purpose is they are happy they have moved on they misses you but they will always be with you in spirit namaste